Devils fans could be torn in a number of different directions if they want to cheer on the home team's players at the Winter Games. Six Devils have traveled to Vancouver, but as our Brianna Venosi reports, they're facing off on opposing teams. Brianna checked in with several of the guys before they left. New Jersey Devils fans have half a dozen reasons to cheer on the men's ice hockey teams in this year's Winter Olympics. Six Devils playing for five different nations. We're uh, maybe a little diverse group uh, from a few different countries, which definitely helps uh, to make, uh, make the Olympic experience a little bit better. But, uh, you know, I think we just have different guys that can fill different roles. Jamie Langenbrunner, the Devils' right winger, is captain of Team USA. It's a big honor and a big responsibility. All of us are going to be under a lot of pressure to, to perform and, and do our best. I do what I what I do to, as far as helping guys out and, uh, and being there as a teammate. But uh, other than that, you know, we're all going to go there and pull on that same rope looking for a gold medal. USA is gunning for their first glimpse of the gold since 1980 in Lake Placid, the last time the team took top honors when only college and amateur athletes were allowed to play. Now Team USA is made up entirely of pro hockey players. The Olympic Games come smack in the middle of hockey season. That's created scheduling issues. Devils left winger Zach Parisi is also on Team USA. We don't get any time to practice, which, which might make it a little tough. Devils skating for other countries include Tommy Albelin for Sweden and Ilya Kovalchuk for Russia. That's created another challenge, according to Langenbrunner, having to face off against Devils teammates. That's going to be a, definitely a different, uh, a different feeling. Uh, you know, you, you've gone to battle with them now for, for years and years and uh, day in and day out. And uh, to go into such a, a big tournament and uh, have to face them is going to be different. As for goaltender Martin Brodeur, this will be his fourth trip to the Olympics with Team Canada. He thinks experience is everything. I think I just know what to expect. You know, I think other young guys have never been to the Olympics. I mean, it's it's a pretty big deal, you know, and especially in Canada, they're going to make it even a big deal than that it is, and we're uh, the main attraction in, in the winter sport. Competing in Canada, a country where hockey is the national pastime, could be intimidating, but not for Patrick Eliage, who's skating for the Czech Republic. You know, you have the pride uh, to, to play for, for, your, for the national team, for your nation, and... Uh, I think it's going to be even more special to that it's because it's played in uh, in Canada. It would be a thrill to win the gold, but the players say just getting the chance to skate in the Olympics is an indescribable honor. You dream about playing in those situations, and uh, when you go out there and uh, you know you see the Olympic rings, and uh, you know you, you got your uh, USA jersey on, it's a, it's a, it's a definitely a special feeling, one that uh, you really can't put into words. Brianna Venosi, NJN News, Newark. And no matter who wins, hopefully when these devils return, they'll all still get along.